Now, in order to study this uh, problem concern to the zero neutrino W beta decay, we can remember the problem or the theory which was developed by Fury in 1939. And now, nowadays, okay, we are trying to to do be better measurements of this process. <sighs> Let me remind that the process of W beta decay with the emission of neutrinos. Uh, was proposed by Fury in 1939. That comes from the theory which uh, Maria uh, Meyer, Gopher Meyer, developed in 1935, and Elliot in 1987 experimentally saw this process of double beta decay in the nucleus of the selenium to kryptonium. And in order to study this process, uh, we can ask about the transition rate of this process that consists in two, two three parts, the half-life, the inverse half-life of this process. <coughs> Has three parts. The first part is, is associated with the kinematical factor that is associated with the Q value of the W beta decay. The matrix element of this. Uh, matrix amendment of this reaction and the third per the third term uh, is associated with the physics beyond the standard model that is something that we should want to know uh, okay there are three parts in this problem, the first, the two, and the third one. Okay, the first one we can obtain using atomic physics this value that is surely not complicated. The second part is is the matrix element, and the third part is which we, we want to to improve. We don't know really which is the the correct expression for the third one also for the second one and now in the next session i will try to start or introduce the problem concerned to the matrix elements okay and for that we require now the nuclear structure nuclear structure this will be our next session. Thank you.